making his way to the cage, Lonnie Philly Mahala. The boy from Gamebred. He's won a few things like the uh, lockdown grappling competition. This boy can grapple. And I'll tell you what, mate, he's, he's one of the uh, biggest favourites on the card. So it's going to be very, very interesting I, to see here. I can tell you this, though. This next man, the Zambian Zombie. Oh, hang on, he's got the music too, hang on. I've called a few of Aaron Mpumba's fights and I call him the Lion King. So is that the Lion King? Am I imagining this or? Is it just Zambian? Mate, I, I don't know. There's 1,100 like people in it here It just screaming. sounds like it's from the Lion King. We'll, we'll call it from the Lion King anyway. Here he comes out of the cage. I love this kid. I love Mackay MMA. It's so good to have them on the card. This is the first time they've been on the card on XFC. The boys from Mackay, it is so good to have them here. If you're watching from Mackay, welcome tonight. XFC 37 is turning it on. I'll tell you what, we'll throw it over to Daniel Morsley to introduce our fighters. So ladies and gentlemen, the fight number nine this evening is an amateur welterweight bout which will be contested over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 77.15 kilos and trains out of Game Bread Academy, a five-fight amateur veteran holding two wins. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lonnie Lontonamo Philly Mohala. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 77.1 kilos and trains out of Mackay MMA, holding an amateur MMA record of three wins with two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Aaron, the Zambian Zombie Mpumba. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the action, Thomas Churchill. Round number one, XFC 37, Mapamba versus Billy Mahala. They come out there, oh, big strikes. They're looking to throw down nice and hurly here, lads. Yeah, Billy Mahala, very, very physical. But Mapamba, he's not going to take a backward step here, the boy from Mackay. You can see there's a little bit of a size difference going on here, lads. I don't think that's going to worry the Zambian Zombie. Don't count him out. Don't count him out. He's got the fight of his life in front of him. Don't worry about the Ned's uh, stats that are on that. He will, he will be in this one. So this is where Lonnie does his best work. He's a real gritty power wrestler. Loves those big slams off his double legs. And as you can see here, doing his best to try and clasp those hands. And there we go. So if he can get uh, the hips of Aaron a little high now, he will go for a ride. Aaron's done a great job there. He's, he's dug that underhook. Yeah, Zambian Zombie's just got to be careful here. He's dropped Billy his Mahala weight. Just waiting for him to make a mistake and capitalise. The pumper doesn't want to gas his arms or anything here either. And he's worked he's very got to scramble. hard. He's got to scramble now. And this is where a little bit of a weight advantage can help out, you know. And once, you, once you're on top... Billy Mahala, very, very physical. This is his world right now. And right in his corner, so he's getting the instructions there. So Aaron really does need to explode here. Maybe use that cage. So doing a go good job here, really putting him in uh, what we call the gutter there, that the part where the cage meets the mat, because it's really hard to uh, try and switch your hips back onto the cage when you've got all that pressure bearing down on you from Lonnie Philly Mohala. Yeah, he's staying very heavy. He's, he looked to pass there, but he's done a great job, great job there, yeah, look, grabbing the lockdown. Philly Mahala there trying to uh, isolate that left arm of uh, Mapomba too. And Lonnie happy to just sit here all day in uh, half guard and just let go of the, the right hand when the opportunity comes. So, guess a lot of onus now on Mpumba to try and get back to his feet because at the moment, 
We are right in uh, Mr. Lontonimo's wheelhouse. Yeah, it's, it's very a... hard for Aaron now to get up from here, and it's very physical every time he does make an attempt. It's zapping energy as well. Yeah, I haven't seen too many fights where you're actually winning off your back. So, uh, like you said, he's happy here just to stay in control of the contest. He's doing well. He's passed here to nice side control. Nice little knee slide pass there from Lonnie. He's landing strikes here. Very, very heavy pressure on yeah, I'd top. I'd like to see Mapumba stop crossing those ankles and maybe just look to try and freeze hip. Maybe look for a butterfly guard or something like that and try and get up from that position. It's very hard, though. Easier said than done. Billy Mahala, very, very physical. Well, ladies, That's a great round by him. Thank you to Fighters Worldwide Clothing on the team at Fighters Worldwide Clothing, are Australia's number one fight sport apparel company. Proud sponsors of XFC and UFC fighters, Kyle Noak, Ben Ten Nguyen, 1FC superstar Adrian Pang, and many more of Australia's best fighters on the rise. If you need world-class equipment, clothing, apparel, or custom-made fight gear, visit fightersworldwideclothing.com. And also a big thank you to Neds. If you are wanting to bet on your favorite fight tonight, jump over to neds.com.au and sign up. Use the code word XFC250 and Neds will match your first deposit up to $250. Neds, it's time to bet. As we move into round number two, oh, Wombat, if you ever need a good lawyer, who would you recommend? Mate, I tell you what, Brisbane lawyers, mate, they take your matter on a no win, no fee basis. At Brisbane lawyers, there's no money up front. So if you've been injured at work, maybe in a car accident, give them a call. They support us here at XFC, and they have done for a while now. Big support of, of XFC. Thank you, Brisbane lawyers. Here we go. The boys settling into striking again. Yeah, Mapamba there landing a big shot. I want to see him now create a little bit of distance. Billy Mahala there. If he grabs hold of Mapamba, he's in trouble again. I'd like to see him kind of work those angles in and out. Aaron's opening up here. This is good to yeah, see. This I don't is what he needs mind. to Phil do. Philip Mahala not backing down either. Oh, Ooh, nice right shot, shot through there on the jaw. Has it rocked Philip Mahala at all? It's taken a little bit of wind out of his sails. He's landing here over and over He's again. He's got to move. He's got to move in and out. There it is. And there's the timing on that entry. Fantastic. I was just about to say I'm surprised Lonnie choosing to stand and trade, but uh, almost maybe in my words, straight into this double leg and might even be able to pass here if he... Gets a little more pressure on that right knee of Mpumba. It's a very loose half guard, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, so interested to see, but like what we mentioned in round one, Lonnie uh, doesn't mind just sitting here in half guard and raining down some help. Mpumba now with the uh, long journey of trying to get back to his feet. And when you have Philly Mahalo on top of you, that is easier said than done. I was actually talking to Aaron last night and he said, you know, a week ago he was actually at 78 kilos. He was only a kilo away. So, you know, he's not cutting a lot of weight for this. So his cardio is probably going to be there, but he's, he's giving up a couple of kilos here in the grappling. And it's showing. And if there is a style matchup that you really do need to make sure that your weight's on point, it is when you come up against a heavy power wrestler like uh, Lontonimo. Look, he was doing a great job on his feet, just getting a little bit too close for my liking. And uh, ultimately, that was his undoing with Phil and Mahala just getting that angle and taking him down. And we're in a very, very interesting position for scoring because for the first minute of the round, Aaron was lining him up a little bit. Now Phil and Mahala, he's basically taking control now for the last minute and 20 seconds. Only 40 seconds to go in the round. Very interesting to see. He's not really landing anything damaging. He is scoring, though, to the body. In this round, and Pumba's doing a much better job of keeping the underhook on the side that he has the half guard. If keep, if you, the first step to getting up is to try and get that near side underhook, and from there you can start switching your hips and getting back to your feet. So we've seen him a few times swim for that underhook. Just need the next step in the process there to try and get back up onto his feet where he was having more success. Yeah, Ten seconds left. Very interesting round of score for me, that one. It's going to be... I really want to see the judges' scorecards on that one. Aaron, he's looking very, very tired. Yeah, I got a feeling on my unofficial scorecard, we got uh, Lontonimo up 2-0. 
Yeah, I'd have to agree with you, Dan. It was a uh, tough round for uh, Mapumba after he got taken down. So, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you to Rams Home Loans. Rams has a comprehensive range of competitive and flexible home loans. So if you're buying your first home, refinancing, upgrading or investing, they're sure to have a Rams home loan that's right for you. Here we go, lads. Round number three, Thomas Churchill going to get him started. And one other thing I'd like to mention in this fight is a big uh, welcome to the Mackay MMA team. First time having him here on XFC, I'm pretty sure. So great to have Aaron and Pumba here fighting in uh, Ben Edmonston later on in the night. So great it, to have uh, yeah, Dave and the team here. It's a real privilege, Dan, uh, Tony and, and, and Dave Garnham. They're beautiful people and it, it, we welcome them here at XFC. And I tell you what, it won't be the first and last time you'll see them. They'll be back a lot more. Yeah, a lot of talent coming out of that gym. As you can see, their boys always come to fight. They've got a good crew down there in Mackay. Phil Mahala, he's doing his thing. He's got Aaron down to the ground again. Switching the hips there in side control. So this is something that you see a lot of jiu-jitsu players now in the modern day liking to do more submission opportunities from there. You can look for a few different arm locks and stuff from that position. Yeah, I'd like to see him really try and advance position and do some more damage in this round as well. You know, he's clearly got control of the fight, but he really wants to put him away and maybe make a statement here. Aaron's doing a great job making that not oh, happen. Here we go. Oh, oh, look oh, out. The game bread crucifix. Arm. Yeah, he's pinned that arm down. Look out. Very dangerous for Mpumba now. And he walks the cage well. He walks the cage very well. Oh, <laughs> Great job by both guys there. Aaron Nelly reversed the position. He's still in a very, very tough position with that crucifix. Can he get that wrist out? Yes. Billy Mahala, no stranger to this position. No, it's much, much more of the same, and, and, and why wouldn't you? You know, if this is where you're winning the fight, you don't need to be fancy. You need to go out there. And look, he's trying to step over that arm again. He's, he's locked that arm down again. He's got it trapped. Bad position here for Aaron. Really needs to get out of now. here. Thomas having a good look. He's scrambling hard. He's scrambling hard. Yeah, he's not giving up, is he? He don't want to go away. Just suffocating pressure here, though, from Mulani. Yeah, many a fighter would succumb to that pressure, but but Aram, not so much. Billy Mahala, he's like an anaconda. Smothering the Pumba slowly. Yeah, he's just doing a great job controlling him here. And right in his corner, too, you can see Ryan Dunstan there. Barking instructions, of course, thinks Simon Quell and Jason Lonigan, the other two men in the corner of Lonnie Philly Mohalla. And it capping off what's been a very dominant performance here from the man in the blue corner. Looks like Lontonimo is going to add another W to that record. Yeah, 100%. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see a couple of 10 8 sprinkled into that. It's good sportsmanship at the end. Philly Mahala helps the former back up to his feet. Gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored about 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26.
for your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Lonnie Lontonamo Filimohala.